Hello everyone, I am Gopal Asawa from Cisco Wireless team. In this video, we will discuss the Day Zero Config Wizard for the next generation Catalyst 9800 wireless controller. Following are few prerequisites to access Day Zero Config Wizard. One, connect the management port, data port and console port of the controller to your network. Verify that the ports are up. Two, access the controller via console port and configure the IP on the management port. Three, configure username and password with privilege level 15 for web UI access. Four, if you are using virtual controller, then we have to install the crypto certificates. With these prerequisites in place, we can now do HTTPS access to management IP for web UI interface. Once you do this access, you will get the web UI login page. Login using the username and password that we configured earlier. If the login is successful, we will get the Day0 config page. Day0 configs has four sections. One, general settings. Two, wireless management configs. Three, SSID configs. And four, advanced configs. We'll go through each of them in detail. In general settings, we provide details of AAA servers, NTP servers that are already available in your network. These will be used for the client and the API authentications. In addition, we specify the country code to be used for APIs to join based on the region. In wireless management settings, we configure the wireless management VLAN, wireless management interface, and wireless management IP. In SSID section, we have two SSIDs, enterprise and the guest SSIDs. Enterprise SSID is enabled with .1x security and guest SSID with web authentication. In advanced config section, we can configure the crypto certificate to be used. We can also configure RF density and specify traffic types like data, voice, and video. In addition, we can also configure the virtual IP to be used for web authentication. This completes the day zero configs, simple and quick. You can now connect or prime any AP from your network to join this controller. AP will join seamlessly to the controller. AP join to the controller can be verified using show AP summary CLI or we can verify it on the AP statistics page on web UI. In addition, the enterprise and the guest SSIDs that we configured will be up and broadcasted by these APs. Now you can connect any client to enterprise or guest SSID for seamless connectivity. Thank you.